Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, tutorial number 9, we are going to investigate the impact of high surcharge load on the stability of a cantilever retaining wall using Plexus uh, 2D. So, if you remember in uh, tutorial number 8, we uh, modeled this cantilever retaining wall which was 7 meter high and we uh, perform a stability analysis and we also estimated the lateral earth pressure behind uh, the retaining wall so in uh, some situations uh, some maybe some uh, kind of uh, structure are built in uh, this location behind the retaining wall uh, uh, on uh, top of the ground behind the retaining wall so it may be a traffic uh, or maybe a pavement or maybe sometimes uh, a building uh, uh, or uh, a building is constructed in this location so uh, uh, that's why we need to uh, analyze uh, this uh, type of uh, high surcharge load uh, in uh, plexus to investigate what is uh, the effect of this uh, high surcharge load on lateral earth pressure and displacement of the retaining wall and also uh, the most important uh, thing is the uh, factor of safety of uh, the retaining wall so uh, the purpose of uh, this tutorial is to applying a high structure load in uh, plexus and uh, investigate its effect on stability of retaining wall and also uh, we will uh, we will model a concrete uh, slab in uh, here uh, behind the retaining wall and we will uh, model this concrete slab using a plate element uh, not like the retaining wall uh, as you know uh, until now we in all previous examples and including uh, this uh, tutorial we are modeling the retaining wall as a volume element and uh, so uh, it's okay we uh, we can uh, find the safety factor and lateral earth pressure behind the wall but we uh, we are not able to uh, we are unable to uh, estimate what is uh, the forces in the retaining wall like uh, uh, moment and shear force and axial force so in uh, the following examples we will also we will have uh, uh, different tutorials uh, and uh, we will use uh, or we will model our retaining wall as a plate element also to uh, uh, to estimate uh, the uh, moment or shear force in the retaining wall also we will uh, shortly talk about uh, various types of high surcharge a lot in this example and their recommended value and also we will uh, I will show you how can we uh, change uh, the boundary uh, the boundaries uh, increasing or decreasing the boundaries of uh, the soil so in this example I will uh, try to use a larger boundary so I will extend uh, this boundary from here from a uh, left side from a uh, right side as well so this table uh, shows uh, various types of high surcharge uh, loads which uh, can be uh, which can be uh, built or uh, be existing in uh, these locations behind the retaining walls for example it may be a parking garage for a standard uh, vehicles like a regular uh, cars and uh, the load may range between 7.5 to 10 also it may be uh, a parking garage for heavy vehicles and uh, like a trucks emergency vehicles or reinforced parking areas so uh, the load uh, range may be about uh, 15 kilonewton per uh, square meter or it may be a building or uh, a structure and uh, depends on uh, foundation type or and building height so the lot may range between 50 kilonewton per square meter to 150 also it may be a construction equipment like cranes excavators and heavy machinery near the wall so 
the load range may be uh, between 20 to 50 kilonewton per square meters also it may be a stock uh, pile material like earth gravel or a stored construction materials and the load may be arranged between 10 to uh, 30 kilonewton per square meter also it may be a traffic load like a highway or road uh, uh, so the amount of load may be arranged between 5 to uh, 20 uh, kilonewton per uh, square meter okay uh, we are going to model uh, this example uh, in uh, this tutorial and we will uh, build a concrete uh, slab uh, which has a 0 0.5 meter uh, thickness and also we will apply a high surcharge a lot maybe 50 to or uh, 75 kilonewton per uh, square meter so uh, for modeling uh, this uh, for modeling uh, this uh, concrete slabs uh, near the retaining wall as I mentioned before we will use a plate uh, element